The, the dislike of and anguish over social media is just growing and growing and growing. Uh, and it's part of our problem, particularly in democracies, uh, in terms of building consensus around any issue. It's really hard to govern today. You can't, you know, you know, there's no, the referees we used to have to determine what's a fact and what isn't a fact have kind of, you know, been eviscerated to a certain degree. And um, people go and that people self-select where they go for their news or for their information. And then you just get into a vicious cycle. So it's really, really hard, much harder to build consensus today than at any time in the 45, 50 years I've been involved in this. And, and I, you know, there's a lot of discussion now about how you curb uh, those entities uh, in order to guarantee that you're going to have, you know, some accountability on facts, et cetera. But look, if people go to only one source and the source they go to is sick and, uh, you know, has an agenda and they're putting out disinformation, uh, our First Amendment stands as a major block to the ability to be able to just, you know, hammer it out of existence. So what you need, what we need is to, is to win the ground, win the right to govern by hopefully having, uh, you know, winning enough votes that you're free to be able to, to uh, implement change. Uh, now, obviously, there are some people in our country who are prepared to implement change in other ways. And so that's you're really questioning, dangerous. really, if uh, democracy can survive unregulated I think social I think, media. I think democracies are, de are very challenged right now and have not proven they can move fast enough or big enough to deal with the challenges that we are facing. What convinced you of your theory? Well, what started to happen is... They just started to say it publicly in front of cameras. Uh, our First Amendment stands as a major block to the ability to be able to just, you know, hammer it out of existence.